Hello everybody, um, <clears throat> this video is about the new diversity module for Fatshark uh, which is actually a module called Light uh, which doesn't have any OLED screen but it has OSD uh, output so we can see everything on the uh, our Fatshark screen so this is my last order, three items uh, the battery door for actually this battery is for the Fatshark diversity module with the OLED screen but it suits uh, the new mod light module quite well uh, and my apologies for this video will not be edited so if there are some uh, small like uh, mashups or whatever um, my apologies for that uh, so three items I have the doors uh, the module door, the light module, and Amway antenna, helical. Uh, okay, so the first the module. Uh, oh, the door. The door comes here, which is about five dollars something. Uh, it's all right. I'll show it later. Uh, the module. Uh, as we can see, we have options of uh, RPSMA and SM SMA. So you know make sure you choose whatever suits you uh, same as for the antenna rp sma and sma okay so to the module now uh if you go down and read the little note here it says there uh, uh, the new firmware is available and i will show how to update it um okay Okay, so we go here, click to download uh, firmware. So we are on GitHub now, uh, which we can see. Well, if you have, if you want, you can have a look and read. So this is their uh, Milky Mouse, says uh, their branch or whatever. Jafar. Here we cannot like here is the, all the files which we have to upload. But to make it simpler for us, we just go to here Jafar and like here we have everything description we can you know you can go and read yourself so I'm just gonna make it brief uh, so we do a clone or download which I did before I'll do it again for you uh, download zip all right we have it so it's downloaded I'll open it. Uh, so I'll close the window. Uh, Jafar Master. So we put it on a desktop, for example. Unzip it to desktop. You can close this now. And Jafar Master. Okay, so there are few libraries we need to import into our Arduino. Uh, uh, without these things, it will not uh, compile. So what we need to do, they unzip. So we need to zip them first. Uh, so we do it for all all three. Our Torhiv, we choose zip. Okay. Uh, TV out fonts. So uh, add to zip. Uh, okay, and the last one also. Our heave. All zip. So we all have three zips now. I also imported them already, but I will show how to how it, how to do it if you don't know. Just uh, so we go to sketch. We open Arduino. Uh, sketch. Include library. Uh, add zip library so we go to the folder which is a uh, which is uh, for me it's in desktop jfr master uh, we go to libs so we have all the libraries here zipped so we just choose all like you have to do it for all three so it's all included now uh, so we just try to come like okay another thing is uh, if you go to Jafar OSD uh, 
tab so that my focus is not working well but okay so if you want to customize uh, your startup screen you can also do it uh, here's the uh, two lines JFR project 20 by Milky Mouse so whatever is in quotes you can change whatever you like just make sure it's in between two quotes so uh, your startup screen will be like a uh, uh, customized for whatever you like so these two lines JFR project 20 by Milky Mouse uh, okay uh, change then you just go if you want to change you try to if it works verify you go down compile and sketch okay so we can see down compiling so successful without the libraries imported uh, if you didn't import the libraries it will not work it shoots out an error so okay here is uh, our script compiled I'll show you how to upload it to your a new Fatshark light module give me a second so here is our box for Relac uh, Fatshark module light it comes I guess uh, a standard box for all the three available options uh, so what we need to know here is uh, for uploading the firmware I'm sorry for the focus so for uploading the firmware updating firmware we this is uh, the pins we need to use FTDI and the only one is marked as ground so nothing else is marked so I was a little bit uh, you know took a little risk of uh, assuming the standard they have standard uh, pinouts so and it worked uh, so we have a FTDI chip here so it basically goes like this ground to ground uh, then CTS whatever it is uh, next one is 5 volt then we have uh, RTX, RX and DTR so uh, for me it was easy to without soldering anything I just uh, uh, in, like inserted my FTDI chip into the holes but not from the top because you know, uh, you know a little tricky to, if you do it on the top but, so I, I, will, I inserted it from bo the bottom my my setup allowed me to do that the angle was good uh, and it's kind of a fric friction hold so pretty reliable I'll come back in a second and we are back. Okay, this is how I inserted my FTDI chip into the board of the Fatshark Diversity Light module. It holds well. Not like not super reliable solder, and of course, yeah, it's probably more reliable. But I think that suffices for me. And so, what we need to do next is uh, plug in our. Just make sure you know the pins are right the way you inserted it. Is like ground to ground, and the rest is lines up pretty well. So, so we insert. Gosh, I hate this focus. Okay, so we insert FTDI uh, into the computer. Takes a few seconds uh, for the module to come alive. So it's ready for action. We go back to Arduino. Here now we can compile and upload it using this button here. Actually, okay. Well, let's try to modify it for something for shark badass. Let's see if it works. So instead of what I, uh, I'll show you what it was before, Jafar project to zero, we change it to. Fatshark. Badass. And milky mouse we change. So make sure it's in between the quotes. I uh, buy mud flyer. 
Mad Flyer. So, you see, Patrick Badass by Mad Flyer. This is, I remind you, this is in Jafar OSD tab. So now we can proceed. Uh, the board is alive, ready. It's like uh, just waits to be updated with the latest firmware. And so we go to upload. So it will compile again and upload it to our board. So uh, compiling, uploading, started. You can see FTD chip working hard. Uh, Working hard, I'm writing, reading. Bam, it's done, thank you. So, the flash arc model comes back to life again. FTDI, FTDI chip comes down, not flashing anymore. So, we are ready to unplug. Um, we don't need the uh, Arduino anymore, we can close it down. We don't need the uh, computer anymore, basically. So let's see how it works. So let's just unplug the FTDI chip from uh, the module. Uh, here's my FATRAR goggles. Uh, I'm sorry for using uh, shaky video i'm like making the video with one arm only one hand uh, so the model goes in pretty well uh, just give me a second right so insert it now the door as some people mentioned, uh, this door uh, on Banggood actually, uh, uh, this door works for the module. It's larger due to uh, it's been, you know, made for the module with the OLED screen, but and it has a hole here, which doesn't bother me. Whatever, actually, the the door looks better in real than on the Banggood side because Banggood side they just saw some kind of a 3D printed door this door looks of a better quality I guess it's manufactured uh, and not just 3D printed so it's a little fiddly uh, but it works so what we do we just insert the door we lock this side first, I think just easier for, well, it was easier for me to do it this way. Uh, it's kind of, then we just push it in a little. Okay, just make make sure everything, uh, for me it's hard to do it with one hand, so I will come back to you in a second. Okay, dokey, the door is locked, I mean, it's not super reliable, it's pretty easy to open it, but the, the antenna, mm, we have two antennas here, and they hold in the module, uh, you know, by friction because they, it's. I'm actually planning to probably glue or use some sticky tape uh, for this battery or the the module door. I will probably make it one unit. Uh, I will make it a one unit as a one unit. So because. Uh, I guess I'm, I will be using this door only for the, with this module. Uh, for normal modules, I have the other door, the standard door. So I'll probably glue it together, or it for easier installation, or probably use some sticky tape. Uh, let's see. So uh, here's my new Envoy antenna, which comes with a, a small extension. It look, I checked the quality is quite good. I like the quality and uh, let's check how it works with the antennas. My other, uh, is another antenna I have. So this one goes to the top and uh, this one goes to the bottom. I, uh, I was hoping that I can just directly screw in this antenna, but if I screw it into the module, then uh, it's 
impossible to screw in the uh, other antenna. So I have to use extension, maybe I'll make it a little shorter in future, but for now I'll just, just check how it works. Back to the focus. Okay, okay. One side done. The other side. Drinking too much coffee is never a good idea. Your hands get shaky, and simple things can become so much harder. Like screwing in the antennas. Shake hands. Bam. Okay, done. Done. Up. So what do we have here? We have a new Fatcher Clyde Diversity model from Relac. Or we have home antenna. Um, we um, antenna at the bottom, helical antenna, and we have normal. Lover leaf antenna on the top. Uh, so let's check the fit. You can see that the battery door is not super like I mean, with a bit of fiddling, it's a better fit, but I'm not gonna bother now. So, this is an antenna door. You can see the holes, which probably are not needed for this module, but at the moment, there are another door available on Banggood. Um, I prefer to have some kind of a door uh, for protection, not running the model without the door. So maybe we'll try to start this up. Uh, okay, the battery. Oh, let's try to see if we can see anything. Okay, started. So we can see Fatshark Badass is displayed. Um, basically, uh, if you wait a little bit, then it just goes to preset channel. I haven't actually played with the settings much, but uh, I can understand we can only use two button up and down. So once it started, uh, you have a choice only. Of different bands and channels. And we go to down to auto scan. I was hoping for some kind of a graphical interface, but not so much. We just so we go to auto scan. I just wait so it scans the channels and shows you wherever, and then it chooses the strongest channel. And after a couple of seconds, it jumps on this channel. Okay, I guess that's about it. So this is this video was about how to the new model, how to uh, update the latest firmware, customize it a little bit, and just to see how it works with this little door, which is not very little. Uh, I'm yet to fly test this new module. I'm hoping to get a decent performance from this setup. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask, no problem. And then I will include the link to the module, uh, the battery door, or no, not the battery door, the module door uh, in the description. So if you feel like you know, thanking me a little bit for this little guide, then you can buy using my link. I'll get a few coins for that. You will not lose anything. So thank you very much and bye bye.